again, Bito Valley, that's my crawl. Um, this is a through road. You can see the road going on top of the mountain on the other side. This is normally a through road. Um, out of season, not between April to late August, um, I would say, is when the river is not crossable at all. Obviously, it changes every year with seasons. How much rainfall we get, how much snow melt there is from the mountains on the series side. Um, however, two months ago, the water was about another 100 meters up from where we're standing currently. And where I'm standing right now is probably about shoulder depth in water about two months ago when the flood happened. Um, it was a freak thing every 100 years or so. Uh, they said it happened in 1997, but I really don't believe that. On the Bido side, perhaps, but not the Doring. As you'll see when we get down there, an entire sandbank has shifted when the flood came down. So there is no through road currently. It's going to take us probably about six months waiting for the level to drop and get some big machines and try and get the through road to happen again. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a waiting game, unfortunately. This used to be a parking lot picnic area where people could come and have picnics on the riverside. Uh, again, the flood has done quite a bit of damage. There's a beautiful little site in there where we can picnic. It was a little bry spot, a little bry area for the day. And as you can see, it's just been washed away entirely. Um, again, massive work in progress. But yeah, that's mother nature for you, huh? This sandbank didn't exist, this was a road. So from all the debris from the flood coming down, that is the through road going across currently. There, there is no road. The rivers have dropped quite a lot, so perhaps in a few weeks, perhaps a month, maybe two, can't really tell currently, then yeah, we can start doing some access on that and doing some repairs and making the road viable again. This thing in front of us here is the SAS Villa Haunt, made by guys from Amarnas. Um, we've had to rebuild it a few times from it being taken downstream, um, taking some beating. But we have done quite a few repairs on it and this is now Mach 4 or 5 I believe. And basically what you do is launch motorbikes on here one at a time. The guys walk it through. We had a cable going across it but that went down in the flood. And they'll yeah, put the bike on, walk the bike through, launch the other side, bring the pontoon back, tie it up again, make sure it's also secure so it doesn't get floating or floated down the river in the next flood. Um, however, the river is seasonal. Summertime, rocks and sand, completely dry. And yeah, so this is device is just to get the guys across in the motorbikes nice and safe. Um, I haven't got one for vehicles, unfortunately. Large vehicles, there's just no way to put it or build it or to hold three and a half tons as a van would weigh. So yeah, it's only for motorbikes. And then for four by fours, the river is just crossable in season. And this is the Doran River. This is the Doran River. It uh, travels quite a distance, ends up on the coast. Um, well, it goes into several. It basically ends up in Lutzville. So the one, the, the confluence is on my property of the two rivers. I've got the Bido in the Bido Valley, so it's the Bido River. And then as we're looking right now, it's probably another 300 meters down where the two rivers meet. Um, just beyond that last little rapid. But yeah, that's, that, that, that's the confluence of the two rivers, Bido and Doran. Straight ahead of us, you can see where the road's coming out on the top there. Straight ahead would be the road, um, as the crow flies, straight across. Uh, that would be the road. But again, from the flood, entire sandbank shifted, brought all the trees with it. Bit of a nightmare currently. Yeah, we have some gorgeous sand dunes further to the right, about 500 meters upriver. Big white sand dunes, absolute oasis, stunning. There's crances, cliff faces. Baboons can sit and watch you while you're having a picnic. Yeah, just absolutely an insanely beautiful piece of Africa. Bird life as well. Birds, fish, swimming, river rafting of all sorts. And noisy cats. But yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no bridge. It's a natural river crossing, rocks and sand. Um, every year we have to do some repairs on the road because uh, rocks do move when the flood comes in. Um, yeah, basically by hand with like crowbars and uh, 10 kg steel poles and just move rocks to try and make it accessible for guys on the 4x4s and the guys on the bikes that don't snap their ankles 
slipping over rocks. So oh, but that's an annual thing. We do it every year after every flood. So it's accessible for the people to come across through. Yeah. So this is about flood level as it normally is. This is normal flood level. Uh, the water level has dropped, I'd say about three meters in the last two days. Uh, so it is dropping. Um, but at the moment, currently about a meter, meter and a half in depth. It's hard to tell again because of the flood we had. I don't know what the state of the road looks like because of the flood. Boulders have moved, shifted. Um, so it, it, impossible to tell right now until the levels drop, basically. Really impossible to tell. It's kind of a public road, but you do all this section, keep it open. We do. Um, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we do our bit. We do our bit to assist.